Um, I think I've been working here for a couple years now, yeah, but part of, the club. part of the club, yeah, I've sort of been following a club. My friends used to play touch here, so I've always sort of been around for quite a few years. Okay, you play yourself? No, I don't. Okay, that's alright. You're supporting them though. Yes. do you reckon go through in a day? Ooh. I reckon on a very busy morning we'd go through about two of those giant packs. Okay. But if he draws on today, we might go through a few today. Yes, I reckon. We've got a lot going on. Some big game. And then we go through about all of our bread almost. Yeah. Over there. We need their carbs. Yes. The steak burgers are our most popular, I would say. Yeah, they like sweeteners. Oh, yeah. oh, so um, they're not proper sugar? Oh, yes, we have a. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're okay. just in the bottom of the yeah. yeah. more. Okay, sorry. No, don't sell it, don't sell it at all. Is that there, like hot? Yeah. Oh, I think it's a good But whenever you're ready, Oh, Same as much. Is that good? On your right? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Five minutes through individual stuff, whatever you want to do. If you want to just pass the ball, that's fine. If you want to do some kicking, line out, scrums, up to you. So you get five minutes to yourself, then we go team warm up. Sound good? I'll let you guys know when we're when we're into it. When is oh that's weird with the camera. Start talking. Start talking. Yep. Right. If they're having troubles with that or they're saying no to anything, you come get me straight away. Yeah, okay. I'll sort it out. Thanks, mate. Alright lads. Let's do it, lads. Let's rev up. It's a big day. Nerves are going to be on, but we've got this. Maybe the captain, the Reds. Yeah. We could go the Reds. Maybe like the Reds coach. Nah, just the 13. Simon Crevy. See you later, mate. Thanks for coming. Are you just practicing lifts? Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll throw in two seconds. Yeah, okay. Shout it out, yeah. And then waiting. Do two again. Nathan, do two again. Head, shoulders, knees, toes, ears. Shoulders, knees, toes, knees, toes, shoulders, shoulders, heads, ears, eyes, mouth, teeth, glutes, cone. Where are we going? Find the pill. Find the pill. Nice, you two. Great group, this group. Great group. Let's go. There's the bar right here, you other guys. Sin. Can we get the whole width out to the 15? Up. Back we go. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Bang. Turn around. Let's go. Back we go. Get some width here out to the 15. That's all right, but let's get the pacing. One more time. One more time. And who we're supposed to support, where we're supposed to be. And you guys will do great. And it's the simple things.
it's, it's probably probably not a good spot to do the interview, bro. But uh, oh, wow. congratu congratulations, firstly, on the premiership last year. Um, that has going to blow away shortly, anyway. Um, what was that like winning the premiership last year? Well, I don't really, I didn't get any minutes. So, but when I was on the bench, it was honestly incredible. The boys did really, really well in the second half. Came out really strong. Um, yeah, it was an amazing feeling running on and hugging everyone in the middle and. I think you're sort of underselling yourself, bro, because, you know, it's, 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 a, it's actually a season that gets people to the yeah. premiership. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah played pretty well. Um, throughout the season, it was first year of playing grades. So, um, yeah, really good um, involvement in the second grade. And then I um, was lucky enough to play a couple of Prem's games, start there, and then come off the bench for a couple of times. So it was good. Yeah. Um, what are the goals this year? Uh, obviously, to go back to back again, which would be awesome. Um, obviously, that's everyone's goal for this year, no matter what. Um, team you're in, so um, obviously you want to be playing um, Prems as well, so um, yeah, definitely the top two teams will be um, my focus. Uh, like this pre-season, like, um, any sort of standouts in terms of like work ethic or players to watch? Oh, Controversial? Oh uh, yeah, uh, our new uh, outside centre Grayson um, came over from uh, Perth I believe, yep. yeah really strong ball runner. Really smart with his footy, so yeah, he's definitely a player. Watch. So, so watch out for him and you this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more him than me. Um, what, like, so personally, what, what are your goals for this year? Obviously, you know, you spoke about obviously Premiership, but like just in terms of your role. Oh, just obviously good service. Obviously, being a nine, just make sure common to the boys in defence and um, have a really strong kick game as last year, and um, just yeah, getting the ball to the right places. Long term goals. We always, we always have to talk about long-term goals. What's your long I've actually heard you answer this, something I filmed previously, but, you know, like, um, just curious, like, has that changed? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yes and no. Like, obviously, um, footy is definitely a big priority of mine and obviously want to pursue that, but um, if it comes, it comes. Just got to play week in, week out here and then hopefully get spotted, so, yeah. I think for me is, um, I guess we are one of those players that admires just the work ethic. Um, you just got to stick with that, bro. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. 100%. Anyway, good luck this season. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, bro. See Talk ya. Thanks for, the, thanks for the interview, bro. So, so bro, actually, don't, I, I still don't know what you, what's your nickname. Oh, King. King Camilla. King Camilla. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you this hat. It's going to fly away. Yeah. got to stop doing that. Uh, how long have you been with um, Brothers for now, bro? Uh, since 2016, so that's this will be year eight, I think. Yeah. Okay, where did you originally come from? Which 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 school? From Terrace, Gregory Terrace. Back you're a Terrace boy. Terrace boy, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I won't hold that against you, right? You're lucky there. Was it scholarship so right. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say no. So whereabouts originally did you come from? South Sudan. I was born in Sudan, and yeah. then when I was four, we moved over to Brisbane, and I've been here ever since. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, and how old were you when you came over from Sudan, bro? Four years old. Four years old. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I'm, and I'm 20. Six now, so you're getting gonna, a bit old in the tooth, right? Yeah, I've got, I've got a couple of years left, though. Um, look, you know, like, why are you so like involved with rugby for such a long period of time? Oh, god, I think I just because I started off with AFL and I got to high school and everyone played rugby, so at first it's just a way to like, fit in and get along, but I loved it so much and just I don't see myself stopping for a while now. Yeah, you gotta watch, we gotta watch have a chat with these boys, right? You gotta watch yeah, out for them, right? Um, but uh. Like, you know, what is it about the game that you love? Probably probably just the boys. The boys around you and how everyone gets around each other. That's that's what's kept me in it. Yeah. Like, if I, if I didn't like the people I was with, I would have stopped playing a long time ago. But that's a very good point. Yeah, every, yeah that's what keep, keeps me coming back, just hanging out with everyone and just playing. So uh, Goals for the year? Another premiership. Back yeah. to back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to and shake your hand another. as well. All these premierships you guys are just like stacking up, bro. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's all I'm aiming for. Um, so to be involved in, like, it was a pretty successful year for the boys. Yeah. Um, like, what does it mean to a club to, like, win that many premierships? A lot, really, because training starts the year before in November, December. Yeah. So you're working eight months of the year to, to get to that final day. And just for everyone to be able to do what they did, it's, it was massive. Like, I've never seen anyone happier on a club night. Six six grand finals in Prem grade winning, yeah. so yeah, it's just it was just awesome. Yeah, it hurt for me personally as a South boy, but man, it was. <laughs> I think just in terms of like being a rugby fan, it was yeah, it was pretty oh, awesome. Oh, it was an awesome game, awesome game. Watching from the stands, from what I remember, because it was a long weekend, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It was a, see, if you can't remember, that's a good weekend. <laughs> anyway, yeah. bro, good luck for the season. Thank you very much. I appreciate bro. your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck, good luck out there, bro. Good boys, uh, introduce yourselves. I'm Daniel Christodoulou. I'm 17. 
Yeah. And I'm Noel Talbot. Noel, you right? I'm not. Oh, 19. Oh, yeah, think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you just turned 19? No, no, turning 20 in April. Oh, wow. So yeah. just around the corner. Yeah. Um, 17, bro. Now, you're a, you're a freshie all the way from uh, the south. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from down Sydney, down our Sylvania waters in the Shire. Coming back up here for a new start. I'm really excited to see what we can do here in the uni. Yeah, just so, look, coming up with one, what was the decision around that, bro? Um, I was just finishing school and I didn't really have any like ideal set piece place where to go. I was just like looking at the options and one back came out to me and he goes, you can get a new start, be a good opportunity for you, try crack the Reds Academy. I was like, you know what? It's, 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 it sounds like it's, it's, it's a pretty good sell. <laughs> oh, mate, you, if I didn't know him, I think he's a real estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourself, bro? How long have you with the Red Heavies for? It's been my first year too. So oh, you're a first year uh, as well? I'm fresh this year, yeah. I was doing um, down at the Falcons the last two years, uh, playing rugby league after school. Played union my whole life. Oh, you're a le leaguey? Yeah, oh, so. All these leagueys, mate. Yeah, yeah. You're a leaguey as I was well? At, I was at the Bulldogs, yeah. Oh, come on, bro. It's yeah. good that you crossed over, boys. Coming to a real code now. Come on, yeah. shake the boys' hands. Yeah. So, uh, what's the attraction to rugby? Oh, I've played rugby union my whole life. So, all through school, yeah. since I was three years old. Um, after school, just had a little stint in the league. And then, you know. Okay. Back, back here. So, and, so uh, not really a leaguey? No, no, not at okay. heart. My, not my at bad. Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so why why rugby? Um, definitely the red heavies because, well, Wombat, you know, called me straight away and said, heard that I was making the jump back over and what he was building here with our culture was, I think, really exciting, as, as DC said, yeah. Uh, first impressions so far with uh, Brisbane and, I guess, the, the program up, up at um, the red heavies at the moment? Awesome. Like, the, the boys we have around yeah. here coming from all different places, it's, it's going to be a big redemption year for us. It's good, um, good family going on, yeah. like, and coming down from Sydney as well as getting to use that weather. But I think what we're cooking up in the in the heavies in the uni. You're it's cooking up? Good. Yeah. yeah. Is, this a, is this a, like, a southern term, cooking up? Like, um, yeah. What like, does that mean, sorry? So cooking up, you want to make the best meal you can. So by preparing, like, the pasta, boiling the water, you're really cooking up a good feast. Sheesh, <laughs> come on. Okay, uh, what just, like, what are your goals for this year? Uh, definitely just to take out the premiership, see where we can go, with play development. Well, you guys are messing around. No, 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 we're not messing around. We're, it's gonna we're be straight business. Straight business. Straight business. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I'm excited to see what you guys have to offer this afternoon. Well, it's actually not afternoon, it's afternoon or after yeah, lunch? Yeah, after lunch. Midday, so, midday, give or take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Anyway, boys, I'll let you go. Oh, thanks for having Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, right. I need some content. Yeah. Score some tries. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go, big folks. Me and you. Right from the get go. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I've actually been out for most of pre-season. Yes, I sort of saw that. Yeah. yeah, so in the first week of training, uh, basically I rolled my ankle pretty bad and did a really high ankle sprain and it was really fat. So I pretty much missed out like eight weeks of pre-season. Yeah. I only got cleared on Monday, but from what I was seeing, it's it's pretty awesome to be able to watch such good footy sort of come together and all the boys like start a pre-season, you know, not many people know each other because yep. there's a lot of school boys coming in and a few older Colts that have been there before, but by the end, everyone's just gelled and it just starts to go pretty good and you know the chemistry is definitely there and it's really awesome to see how competitive everyone is for positions. What, uh, what's your goals for this year, bro? Uh, honestly, just make sure I play good footy and um, try and make 19s. Okay. Yeah, Reds 19s or any 19s teams really. Yeah. But um, that's definitely my goal and just to, <laughs> just to have a, um, yeah, uh, definitely an injury-free season. Yeah, I think that's probably the thing, is just trying to get everything sort of like clear is mm. probably the thing. Anyway, coach is here. I'll let you go, awesome. right? <laughs> right. I'll right I'll see you, see you out there. It isn't too bad, so I should get some out of this. So I'll, what I might do is I'll take it down over there, right? Yeah. Just down there. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot how tall you are. <laughs> just yeah. take, take a step back. Yeah. So, bro. Firstly, I love the hat. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Jack Henry. So, so Jack, sort of like, where have you come from, mate? How long have you been with the Red Heavies for now? Uh, this is my first year with the Red Heavies. So okay. yeah, I just I got could in. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, so I'm from Boat Desert. So yeah, out in the bush sort of thing. We're off sort of 12,000 acres. So, so tell me about your hat. 
Yeah, so it sort of comes from you know our background out at, on a farm on 12,000 acres. Me, old oh, fellow's actually... a farmer. Yeah, so I've come from the bush and moved into the city now at Turinga. So yeah. you, you moved to Turinga? Yeah, yeah. So move is a big that's, jump. That's, that's a big jump, bro. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. But we're in with a few other footy boys. So yeah, just awesome to move in and play a bit of footy. Uh, yeah. How often do you get back home? Oh, sort of trying to get there once a week, yeah. once on the weekends, and go back home and just yeah get back to the lifestyle. So what is it about rugby that you've sort of like, uh, well, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I think um, just playing school um, boys last year and that sort of thing, like playing all through that, I really enjoyed it. Yep. And um, I played like union my whole life sort of thing. But yeah, moving into the city, Fraser and Wombat said to come have a run. And so I'm really keen to just have a crack and give it everything. So um, you guys have been pretty, yeah, you guys are going pretty well this morning, the, yeah. the, 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 the four boys. But um like your background like uh which school did you go to last year so i was at canterbury college so that's in um logan so it's just a little school but yeah so then moving moving into here is a big jump you know a lot of lot more boys and what position are you doing normally to play bro uh in the back row six seven or eight or lock yeah yeah uh what are your sort of goals for this season uh try and try and push as high as i can with rep footy and that sort of thing but they're big goals but pretty much with the heavies we're trying to contend for that one spot go for a premiership and bring home to glory so yeah you yeah, know it seems to be uh, had a couple of chats with other boys before and um you're all pretty keen about this premiership eh? yeah that's the thing that's the idea this year is to go hard and just create that culture you see today we've got all the jerseys here and everyone's you know here together and just that team mentality of being connected i think hopefully will get us over the line Got a good chance, brother. Good luck to you. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, bro. Thank you. So, bro, what's, what's your name again? Xavier. Xavier. Uh, Xavier, how long have you been the Red Heavies for, mate? Uh, I've been playing since I was 16. Okay. So, I remember in grade 11, I was playing with my dad in sixth grade. What? Um, yeah, yeah, which was good. Um, but no, yeah, I've been here since 16. So, you and your dad in sixth grade? Yeah, yeah, we, we packed in the second row together, which was good. Um, but Is there yeah. a photo? Yeah, there's a photo, yeah, it's someone photo. Oh, the, the grab photo, though. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. So, um, like, is your dad connected to Heavies for a while? Uh, well, he, he's um, been here for a couple of years, yeah, but he's just hung up the boots recently. Okay. Um, he said for the last three years, he's one more year, one more year, one so more year. he finally put him down. But no, he's been good, been, been playing here for a couple of years, so jumped down in grade 11, had a, had a game with him, which was good. So which um, which school uh, did, you, did you come from, bro? I was at Terrace. Very good Another Terrace boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a few of us around here. Yeah. Um, like, what is it about rugby that you keeps you sort of like, you know, I guess interested in still playing? Um, I, I just, well, especially like playing for this club, I think, I mean, obviously like, so much fun, a lot of fitness and stuff like that. But I mean, just there's, I think there's nothing better than coming down on a day like today. Everyone's really ready to rip in. We've had a lot of time off. Um, but I think that everyone's just really ready to get around it and get into it. It's so good to see some of the boys. I mean, you're playing footy with some of your best mates and they'll be best mates for, for a long time. So. Yeah, it's a good turnout for you boys as well. It's a very good turnout. We've had this new Colts area that's come this year, which I think is great. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was comparing it to last year, I don't know if we'd have the same sort of numbers, but I mean, there's a lot of things that are different this year, but it's really good to see that, you know, with even just, you know, all the boys scoring tries down there and stuff like that. We're, um, Everyone's really seen to get around it, get the energy up. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, pretty much the start of the season, but you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot to look forward to. Um, what are your goals like, like long term in terms of rugby? Uh, for me personally, yeah. uh, my dream is to play professional rugby, so overseas or wherever. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep fighting for that, playing the best footy I can. Um, love playing here, love playing against the filth, love playing at uni. So I mean, I'm just happy to keep you know aiming for that next next sort of next thing in, in my life. Which yeah, be really I think good. that's one of those aims, like, you know, there's a lot of history between these two clubs, mm. um, but yeah, it's just about being in a position where, yeah, you're really stepping up. Yeah, anyway, you guys are heading off, bro, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, right Great up. interview, Thanks, appreciate bro. it, bro. Cheers. Good luck Thanks, this season. Mate. Cheers.
we can all personally improve on a few things that, uh, you know, everyone knows how they play themselves. So coming to Monday ready. Enough said. Hey, Kai, hey, Kai. Hey, Kai. Hey, Kai. Hey, Kai in there. What are you doing? Yeah, buddy. Great. One, two, three, three four. Okay, who we got here? What's your name, mate? Will. And George. Ethan. Spencer. Okay, boys, which um, which teams do you play for? Brothers. I know what what age group. Under eleven blue. Under eleven blue. Under eleven blue. Under eleven blue. Oh, geez, repping the under eleven blues. Yeah. So you guys only sort of the ones that sort of turned up today. Yeah. 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 Uh, what are your plans for the year, boys? Come to as many of these games as I can. What is, has your season started? Training as, but yeah, like, um, we'll play soon. We'll have trial games soon, don't yeah. we? Yeah. And when, then, when do your trials start? Uh, two, uh, weeks? Two, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, two yeah. weeks. Uh, positions. What position do you play? I play front row. Fly off. Inside centre. Second row. Jeez, you guys are all multi talented. Um, how do you get into rugby? Uh, he was my friend and I wanted to play with him a lot. I, I really just... My uncle played was he he was prem grade captain for a long time. Here. Okay, what, who's your uncle's name? Luke Beecham. Oh, cool. Yeah. And um, is that how you got into it? Yeah, and I, I've been doing like since I was like I think I was like three or two, doing little bros like the little, little kid. Yeah. What about you? Um. Well, I started rugby when I was three years old because my dad really wanted to wanted me to play rugby, and well, we ended up. So we started playing rugby before we went to school, and yeah. then we ended up going to the same school. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, my dad grew up in South Africa, so he's a big Springboks fan, and I've always loved rugby, and he's like my best mate. Yeah. So, yeah, but we're kind of enemies because he goes to Terrace and I go to Nudgee. <laughs> so. But your best mates? Yeah. yeah. Frenemies? Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you guys going to the game tonight? Yeah. yeah, probably. I'm I'm running out with the mascot, like the mascot person. Yeah. Jeez, you're, you're you're bloody hooked up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, mate? Nah, not going. Next time. Yeah. Next um, time. who's your favourite player? So first of all, brothers, and then Reds. Can I say Fraser McRight? Right? Yeah. Okay. F- on both counts. Yeah, both counts. Um, probably Harry Wilson. He's a terrace boy. Yep. Harry Wilson. Oh, that's controversial. It, as, a, as a as a nudgy boy. He's a good player. I love him. Cool. Either or, nah, Harry Wilson. Nice. I like James O'Connor. Yeah. yeah. James O'Connor's pretty pretty awesome. Um, okay, boys. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Best luck for the season. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hopefully we can stay was... undefeated again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you, are you guys undefeated? Yeah. Okay. We, we beat a team on this field right here, 107 oh. nil last year. Yep. Yeah. So you're future stars. Like I'm, I'm like potential Wallabies we've got here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Come on, boys, you will. In 10 years' time, if I become a wallaby, this will go famous, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Th- thanks, guys. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Good luck, boys. Thank Have a good weekend. Bye. It's a good ass, huh? Come on. Yeah. Uh, Hadassah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Where about you from? Um, I'm from Papua New Guinea. See, now you're repping. Which yeah. part? Um, I'm from Eastern Highlands, Millen Bay, and Central Province. Which part of Central Province? Um, I'm from Hanawabada. Are you HB? Yes, I am. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Saro, I'm Rigo. Oh, you're nice. But I was born in, Ge- I was born in Geelong. Oh, were you? Yeah, now? like no. years ago, before Pindia soldiers uh, were, you know, they used to train them in, in a place called Portsea. Yes, yes. And that's, yeah, that's where I sort of like popped out. <laughs> my, dad was doing the, my dad was doing training there. Yeah, that's kind of like how, yeah, I became an Australian. Yeah. Um, so how long have you been a show for now? Um, I've been a show for about six years now. Okay. Yeah. And, um, like had you played for the club obviously yes since under 14s oh wow yeah uh how do you get involved with the little bros um i started coaching when i was 16 maybe and then i went out because of school um but i got involved because i was playing at brothers so i tore my acl last year yeah and then uh, just great opportunity for me to stay involved with little bros uh Uh, with with brothers sorry but um sorry (laughs) that's it (laughs) that wind's really picking up yeah it is um what is it about the program that you like? Um, I think I love the culture that I'm able to be a part. Like that really cultivating um, good habits and sportsmanship um, within the young young ones. Uh, what's, what's uh, I guess, some of the highlights for you so far? Oh, <laughs> I love it when the kids, I have to demonstrate a tackle tech and okay. the kids... Um, as soon as I hit the bed, they're like, oh, and they're like, Coach Dash, can you show us how to tackle oh, like this? Is, so that, is, that, is that your name, Coach Dash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or sometimes Dragon Dash because I'm the dragon and I have to get them in certain games. So Dragon? Dragon Dash, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what's sort of your hope for the little bros and like, like moving forward? Um, I think I would like to do much more where they can do something outside of just being on the field, you know, like yeah. they can um, explore avenues of like, obviously their social um, abilities and skills as well. Yeah. Um, getting to form those bonds really young and everything it, outside of being at pre-prep and kindy. Yeah. Yeah, like there's some, some good connections there. Like a couple of boys that I chatted to, like, you know, have been friends for a while, but yeah, it's that he started playing, so I'll start playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did um, you get a lot of that? Yeah, um, I have heaps of kids come in because they're like, oh, um, I say, oh, who do you know? And they're like, oh, I know Freddie because he's come from kindy, from yeah. prep, sorry, not kindy, pre-prep. And there we go. Um, like, are you planning to come back at some point? Uh, yes. Um, but you, not you say that reluctantly. Time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, not any time uh, this year, though, next year. Okay. Yeah. And uh, finally, like, if you're sort of recommending, I guess, parents out there, why, do we, why would they sort of join Little Bros? Um, I would say join Little Bros because it is a family at the end of the day and uh, we honestly we are there to not only help develop um, kids as a player but as a person and we focus on that whole perspective of them growing in not only the skills on the field but off the field as well. Cool. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you too. Um, 
it's great to the, actually a Papua New Guinea's running it. <laughs> so, so we, we've met my bro here, and I have got a bit of history. History. <laughs> you've got a bit of history. <laughs> now, I haven't seen you. What was the last time I saw you, bro? Bro, I can't. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. I think then. Yeah, I think my first year of uni. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, what you been up to, bro? Right, I've just been, I've just been doing uni, bro. Um, just trying to uni, get into work. Yeah. I guess. And then trying to balance this. So yeah. apart from that, man, it's was been... it law that you were doing, or was... yes, yeah. that's it. So up to my third year, third and a bit. Oh, so, hopefully, man, fingers crossed. I uh, graduate next year, semester one, and then what's see the what happens. What's the plan with uh, uh, education and rugby? Ah, mate, sort of just take it as it comes, I guess. Um, obviously, put put a line up rugby and uni and see which one bites and yeah. stick to that I guess a lot of opportunities coming from both ends and um, probably just see what happens eh? see body's still good so while I'm young make use yeah, you're, looking, you're looking good out there bro you're looking good out there <laughs> yeah no it's been good we've done a good pre-season and um, still a bit unfit as always but I uh, just gotta stay on top did you go back home for holidays yeah 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 went up um, fam, family did a, a little um, traditional marriage up there so just went, witnessed that, and um, yeah, it was good. Stayed up there, enjoyed my holidays, and then came back up. So you're not getting married anytime soon. No, no, not me, mate. Marriage, <laughs> that card's not in the <laughs> not in the deck yet. So <laughs> got too much on your plate. Oh yeah, too much. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's your plan for the year, bro? This year, um, lockdown, obviously on uni, and footy. Yeah, definitely see if I can. Um, it's all time management for me this this year. And, I can lock that down. I know if I get my uni sorted, um, I know footy should take care of itself and uh, yeah, take it week by week. My man, my <laughs> man. Come on, right? It's good to see you, bro. Right, right. How are you? You've been good? Oh, yeah. Trying to do this stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get out of it, but um, I've seen you quite as consistent as always, man. You just it's big, yeah, it's big time, bro. Like, I'm, I'm looking at it like this stuff here, not just. Yeah, it's a bit late in the day. Um, I'm not really good intros. I'm, I'm pretty bad with intros, actually. So, um, yeah, it's been a pretty busy day. A lot of content captured, interviews, some tries, uh, some great tries. Yeah, and a bit of um, yeah, a bit of mic'd up action as well. But um, yeah, if you if you don't know who I am, my name is Ralph Nogo. Welcome to the channel. Um, I'm going pretty hard this year with game day vlogs. So. This is probably the, the first proper game day vlog that you're going to sort of see this year and um, um, it gives you a bit of an insight as to the type of content that I'm trying to do this year uh, in terms of like covering rugby. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty exciting few months but um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Oh, you gotta say. Like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.